welcome friends hope you are doing well if you are new to my channel please hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel today i am here to discuss first of all the marking scheme of the biology class 11 theory paper it is a one paper consisted of 70 marks and of 3 hours the unit 1 diversity in the living world is of 7 marks the unit 2 Structural organization in animals and plants is of 12 marks. The cell structure and function is of 15 marks. And the unit 4, plant physiology consisted of 18 marks. And the unit 5, human physiology consisted of 18 marks. Some total is 70 marks. Coming to the most important chapters and their divisions are as follows. The diversity in the living world. Chapter 1 The Living World. Important topics are characteristics of living organisms, binomial nomenclature, taxonomic hierarchy. Chapter 2 Biological classification. The important topics are categories and features of all five kingdoms viruses, prions, and lichens. The important topics of chapter 3 that is the plant kingdom is characteristic reproduction and life cycle of all bryophytes, pteridophytes and gymnosperms. The important topics of chapter 4 animal kingdom are basic of the classifications and features of the each phyla with their example. Coming to the marination tip of unit 1. Or one must know the basic features of all five kingdom classification. The characteristics of bryophyta, pteridophyta, and gymnosperms are frequently asked questions. The life cycles of same are very much important. The basis of classification with features and examples of all phyla are important. Then coming to the structural organization in animals and plants that is the unit 2. The important topics of chapter 5 morphology of flowering plants include modifications of root, stem and leaf with examples, placentation and its type. Chapter 6 includes anatomy of flowering plants. The important topics are classification of simple and complex species, structure of stomata, anatomy of plants and secondary growth. Coming to the structural organization in animals, the important topics are animal tissues and its type, different types of cell junction and its type, connective tissue and its type. The marination tips of unit 2 are as follows. Modification of root, shoot, leaf are important from exam point of view. The structure of seed is also very important. The classification of tissues into simple and complex structure of stomata, the process of closing and opening of stomata, the process of closing and opening of stomata with the plant anatomy with detailed knowledge of secondary growth is very important if you know, if you want to score good in your exam and uh, the coming to the Cell structure and function, the chapter 8, the important topics are cell theory, prokaryotic and eukaryotic cell difference, different cell organelles with their function. Biomolecules include definition, structure, composition of carbohydrates, proteins, nucleic acids, factors affecting the enzyme activity, nomenclature and classification of enzymes. One must be having the basic idea of all the processes that are discussed in this chapter in order to score good. If you must have uh, in-depth knowledge about the certain things, you must go through all the cell organs in their functions and different phases of cell divisions that are important to remember. You must know the minute details like the phase in which the crossing over takes place um, 
and the differences between the mitosis and meiosis is also very important in the chapter cell cycle and cell division. The significance is also important. Coming to the unit 4, that is the plant physiology, which is dedicated to understanding of plants and plant physiology. The important topics are different means of transport, difference between active and passive transport, isotonic, hypotonic and hypotonic solution, behavior of cells when placed inside them, apoplast and synthase pathway, ascent of sap, mass flow hypothesis. Important topics of mineral nutrition are macro and micronutrients and their role in the plant. Nitrogen cycle, biological nitrogen fixation. The important topics to constitute are photosynthesis in higher plants, the structure of the chloroplast, the Z scheme, and the C3 cycle, that is the Calvin cycle, and the C4 cycle, along with the factors affecting the photosynthesis, is very much important. Uh, the process of biological nitrogen fixation in exam point of view is very much important. Most of the time, the questions that are commonly asked in the exam include the differences between the active and passive transport and the differences between hypotonic and hypertonic and isotonic solution and the differences between apoplast and synthase pathway. And the topic you can't skip, I am saying it the photosynthesis. It is the most important chapter in your syllabus. Coming to the, the respiration in plants, the glycolysis, Krebs cycle, the electron transport system that is the ETS or the electron transport chain and the oxidative phosphorylation is very much important and respiratory quotient which is known as RQ. Chapter 15, Plant Growth and Development. Important topics are effects of plant growth regulators, auxins, gibberellin, cytokinin, ethylene, acetic acid, long day, short day, and day neutral plants. Different types of hormones along with their functions is very much important for your exam. The function of auxins and their effect when they are increased or decrease what happens to them is very much important coming to the last and the most important uh, unit of the human physiology or chapter 16 digestion and absorption important topics are dental formula process of digestion and absorption pancreatic enzymes and their actions the enzymes of suckers enterocles with their actions the disorders of digestive system, breathing and exchange of gases. Important topics are mechanism of breathing, respiratory volumes and capacities, oxygen dissociation curve, transport of oxygen and carbon dioxide, disorders of respiratory system. The body fluids and circulation includes important topics, different types of blood cells, blood groups, structure of heart, cardiac cycle, ECG, and disorders of circulatory system. Excretory products include and their elimination with the diagram, the structure of nephron, the formation of spirin, counter current mechanism, the regulation of kidney function. The chapter 20 locomotion and movement. Important topics are three types of muscle, mechanism of muscle contraction, three types of joints. Important topics of chapter 21, neural control and coordination, structure of neuron, nerve impulse generation, conduction and transmission, reflex art, mechanism of vision and hearing. The last and the most important chapter is the chapter of hormones along with their function, hypothalamus, pituitary gland, adrenal, pancreas, testes and ovary. The disease associated with hormones are need to be remembered. And this whole unit is dedicated to understanding of human physiology. As I said earlier, the important topics are process of digestion along with the enzymes involved in that, the mechanism of breathing, 
structure of her and production uh, of uh, urine and process of double circulation in the chapter circulation structure of macron it's working that also includes the counter current mechanism if we talk about the control and coordination then that basic function of all the brain parts mechanism of vision and hearing and the hormonal action of different hormones is important at last thanks for watching and good luck for your exam tata